Now, gold medal speed skater Stephen Bradbury is known as one of our luckiest athletes. But the real story is that he worked ferociously for his luck over two decades. An inspirational story. Now he's to receive a bravery commendation from the Governor-General after taking to the waves last March, saving the lives of four teenage girls from drowning in two-metre swirls. Here's one of the girls on Nine News. We'll be forever grateful for, like, saving our lives. Without him, we wouldn't be here. I didn't think I would make it back if, like, no-one had come to rescue us. So we'd have no chance. Now, Olympic gold is awesome, of course, it's brilliant, but risking your life to save the lives of strangers, that is next level. Stephen Bradbury joins me from Brisbane. Stephen, it's such an honour to speak with you and congratulate you on your bravery and the recognition you're getting, and also your son, Flynn, too, who helped you on that day. Yeah, Flynn was part of it as well, Chris, and thanks for having me on Sky News. I'm a big fan of Sky. Personally, I prefer Paul Murray's show, but, you know, yours is all right, too. I love the common sense that's on there, mate. You'll keep... Uh, but, yeah, Paul mate, going back it. to the rescue... Uh... Yeah, just tell us about it. Tell us... It was up there on the Sunshine <laughs> Coast, and you were there with your son, and he had a surfboard. Tell us how it unfolded. Yeah, well, I was giving my son surfing lessons. It was a, a big swell day, two metres plus, and we were on the reform on the inside at Kings Beach at Clounder, and I glanced out the back, and I happened to... And I saw what I thought was a, a log out in the lineup. And then as the next wave went over, I, I realised it was a head. And I was like, well, whoever's out there shouldn't be out there. So I need to go. And the adrenaline kicked in straight away. I, I got the leg rope off my son, uh, put it on my foot. And I said to Flynn, you got to bolt for the lifeguards. And him and his mate Lennox bolted off down after the lifeguards. And I paddled out and I got out there. And well, this girl, Zoe, who's the, first, the one that I'd seen, when she spotted me, the, the fear in her eyes was something that I couldn't unsee it for weeks. And as I got closer to her, I realised that there was three more heads further out wow. that were right in the impact zone, getting smashed by every wave that came in. And I had to make the split-second call that I couldn't rescue them all at once. So I got Zoe on the board, I paddled her in, turned around, paddled back out, and I, I got out to the other three and... Yeah, it wasn't a good scene, Chris. One of them was hyperventilating, another one had taken in a bit of water, and the third one was a really good swimmer, and she was just trying to calm the two of them down. Wow, so and you couldn't get, move any I of them the then? I got three of them onto the board. Uh, I got three of them on the board with me on the back trying to kick, and we couldn't go anywhere. We were too heavy with three and a half people on the board. And uh, I wasn't sure what the next move was going to be, but just after that, the, the lifeguards showed up and they plucked the two girls that were in distress into the rubber ducky and took them into shore. I got the third girl on the front of the board who was also a good swimmer and knew how to paddle, so her and I paddled the board in and got them all into safety, fortunately. Just amazing, Stephen. And look, apart from knowing how dangerous the situation was for them and how frightened some of them were, you must have been frightened for your own safety there for a while. Oh, I can handle myself. In, uh, in waves I've been surfing since I was a teenager. And yeah, I, I suppose if I get a little bit personal on it, I was, I was glad that the adrenaline kicked in and when the pressure was on, you know, like when you compete at the Olympics, you know it's go time. And, you know, I'm nearly 50. I'm not quite as fit as I used to be. So <laughs> to know that I can still perform under pressure was, was a good feeling.